Hello everybody, this is Android Gamer, and today I'm playing Friendzoned, a game where you're, for the most part I think you're just texting back and forth with someone, and you're trying not to be just called a friend that you want to try to date them. So the first chapter is Amy Bell. Let's play. I'm going to show her if I'm neck. You just added Amy Bell, a cute girl you met earlier in the day. After meeting her at school during a, an unforgettable moment, you want to get to know her some more. <laughs> she said yes. That's so far. Amy Bell accepted your friend request. Do I know you? Uh, I met earlier when I saw you. Yeah, let's slowly ease to it. Met in the cafeteria. <laughs> yes. Talked right after your friend spilled your hot chocolate, her hot chocolate, on the girl sitting next to you. That was Zoe. She's a bit of a geek, and she lost it cool because the girl next to her asked her to stop talking about video games. It was actually pretty funny. I mean, she's a great person, just like you. Yeah. Actually, that's why I had you. I was trying to. Surround myself with some great, good people. Oh, you flatter me, but what makes you think I'm a good person? Well, maybe I'm wrong, but I'll, I'll risk it. That sounds safe enough. <laughs> I mean, what's the risk? I'm pretty harmless, gal. Oh, Nick, I almost forgot. I'm going to meet up with Brian, the guy I met at the university cafeteria. Uh-oh. I know him. You should be careful around that guy. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Really? I didn't get, didn't get that impression. You seem really shy around me. I thought it was cute. Well, just like you said about me, I'll risk it. I want to meet. I want to keep talking, though. Send me a message around 10 p.m. and I'll, I'll be available around then. Can't wait. <laughs> you too you seem excited. Talk to you later, Nick. Chapter ends in a few seconds. Nightfall. When the day comes, Amy asks you to send her a message around 10 p.m. You should follow up, though. Should you follow up, though? You decide. It's 10 p.m. Sure. Say hi. <laughs> <clears throat> You're right on time. Wasn't expecting you to be, but that's great. Remember your punctual person. Yay! It's always good to be on time. <laughs> yeah, if she likes being punctual, then. I mean, sometimes you gotta take it slow, Nick. Did you have a good evening, though? Uh, yeah, so so. What about you? Let's go with that. I mean, I'm assuming piano might have been something, but. Well, hopefully it's better than. It gets better as we chat. Meanwhile, uh. What did Brian do? 
I'm starting to understand why you said Brian was a good guy. He risked it anyways. Yeah. Stay on that. Yeah, that's not fair. Ha ha. Let's gather some information. You really didn't have many interests or passions besides drinking and smoking all the time. I think it's important to have passion. Do you play instrument, for example? Oh. Well, <laughs> we talked about playing the piano before. Let's talk about piano now. <clears throat> Who do you play the piano? That's awesome. You luckily know how to play. I play the violin. Hey, do it! There's a piece I just love. It's called River Flows in You. But I can't remember the name of the composer. Oh, no. I get wrong, is it it? I've heard of Chopin, never heard of Yuma, but I want to say Yuma because I don't think Chopin would do that, but Oh, there we go. I got it right. Or maybe just Twilight fan. <laughs> I'm just kidding you. I think music helps us cope with our daily, daily lives and allows us to escape. That is, and that it nourishes our heart, our soul. Don't you agree? It's rather soul, it's the soul rather than being, it's soul rather that brings us something. Yes, it's true. That sounds ridiculous. Uh, yeah, I'll say the soul that rather brings us something. I think that creative, that creativity is our soul expressing itself. You learn a lot from it. Whoa, I never read such beautiful scriptures about music. You know, my evening. But Brian wasn't great, but I took some pictures to show you. You want to see them? <coughs> yes. <laughs> Definitely not going to say that. It's like, I don't give a crap about pictures. Come on. No. Yes, please. Be nice. Cool. Hold on. I got to find them. That was the lake. That's the lake near where I live. What's so special about it? Oh, I guess what's so special about it to you? I guess I don't know. I'll go with that and see. Maybe I don't burn myself. <laughs> I used to walk around it with my sister when we were kids. <clears throat> we had so much fun back then. This was the same lake, but a day later. I'm gonna I can't miss that shot. I love this place. This area. It's real pretty reminds me of so many things. I mean it's just so dreamy and brings up so many emotions. I imagine that what you feel too. Feel warm, joy and warmth. Feels like a nice place to share something deep. <clears throat> I feel Nana. Um, we'll go with. I want to be safe and go with joy and warm, but we're trying to not. So let's do. Let's do share something deep. You know, that's exactly how I feel. Ah! Score. Looks like music is another point 
we have in common. <clears throat> Do you, I feel... I love feeling such strong emotions. Do you have any other passions? Let's go with that. Talk about her. Always talk about her. And she asked. The pop thing's weird, but I love writing horror stories. In my free time, I actually write. A, I'm actually writing horror story com. I write stories under the name Lucy, which is way. Which, by the way, Zoe and I sometimes get together in the middle of the night and tell each other our scary stories. Do you want to get together with our? Yeah. Why not? Sweet. In that case, I'll send you an invite to the conversation tomorrow night around midnight. <laughs> Sounds good, sweet dreams. <laughs> Thank you. Good night. Yay. Not bad. Let's see if we can do one more chapter and then go from there. At midnight, the horror party organized by Amy and Zoe begins. You prepare yourself for a frightening experience. Hello. <clears throat> Anyone around? Hey. <coughs> Yo, Amy, is this your friend here? He shouldn't be too long. He's usually on time. Hello to you both. Acknowledge both of them. Nick! Could you be more excited? <laughs> I know I already mentioned her to you, but please meet my Zoe, my friend Zoe. <laughs> please meet my Zoe. Please meet my Zoe. Good evening, Zoe. <laughs> yeah, I know. She already told me all about you. Please to finally meet you. <laughs> Are you ready for some horrors? Yeah, let's give him. Sir, do you want it? Oh, let's go. <laughs> Time to turn out the lights. Yeah, oh, unfortunately, if I... Oh, okay. Just a sec. See how that works. Oh, I guess I still kind of pick up. Okay. <clears throat> Who wants to start? Yeah, Zoe will start. She's much better at setting the tone. Plus, she's able to add sound effects while she's writing. Sounds good. Say nothing. <laughs> Alright, I'll begin. Everything begins in the dark and stormy night. Ooh. It is the night before ha Halloween. It all did, did it, folks? <laughs> that night, a couple is arguing and the man has, was thrown out of the house. Well, I guess I'm the man. 
He shacks up in a nearby hotel and went to check his wife on his wife the following night. In order to get to the house, he told his wife that he had to forget he had forgotten the t-shirt upstairs, so she went and grabbed it. Quietly, he opened the door and snuck in the kitchen, grabbing a knife before silently making his way back to the front door. When she came back, his wife said, "What did you hide? What do you have hiding behind his back?" He stabs her <laughs> ten times, yelling, "You're at death!" No, no. What? <clears throat> Sorry. Hey, back. I'll go to the bathroom. Now we talk. Jeez. This is an emotional roller coaster with you. <coughs> uh, she's great. I'll go with a great toy storyteller. See. No, I don't know about her. See how she is. You okay, Amy? How you feeling? She always stops like that in the middle of her stories, TT. It's always a gift of storyteller. She dreams it all, then writes it down in the middle of the night. She's doing a great job. <laughs> she does a great job. I totally agree. Is your story ready, Nick? I always got one up my sleeve. Let's go. Let's see how we do. Cool. Can't wait to hear it. <coughs> I'm back. Ah, oh, Zoe, hey. Hey, Zoe. Before we continue, Amy, no, I didn't, I didn't dream this one. This one's a true story. Uh, so, after the murder, one year went by. Then, come October, the night of Halloween, man tracked down his ex-wife's sister and slit her throat. But the neighbor scream, heard the scream, looks out her window, and made eye contact with the assassin. She immediately called the police and the killer ran away. She identified the killer from head to toe to the police while trembling. The man was six foot tall and was wearing a mask. Fortunately, for the following year, the... Is this Michael? Are we talking about Michael? I could hear you, Nick. And he's ruthless. That's totally creepy. <clears throat> That's what I was going to say. Zoe is about to scare Amy. You want to play along? Uh, my bedroom door is just open and crack. Um, sure. <clears throat> oh, it's okay, Nick. You, now you're going to freak us out even more. Now, guys, my window is open. So what? <laughs> I swear it was closed before I went to the bathroom. You're just scared. You're just trying to scare the shit out of me. Huh? Uh, do I want to continue on and scare her? 
I'll say all dead, dead seers. I'm not going to say it's a killer at all. Nick, you're freaking me out. That's the whole point of the party. Hold on. I heard something downstairs. Oh, now you're recycling my air prank. I was going to say, I think we need to take her seriously. Never assume. <clears throat> no, I don't think so. I'll say nothing for now. I know she's always, he's here always because he's reading the text. Maybe you don't reply, but what I'm mad at for. Nah, I gotcha. Spooked you both, huh? Not at all. I don't believe, didn't believe you for a second. I have to admit, you had me for a second. Uh -huh. <clears throat> I'm pleased with my prank, though. Please. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, it's your turn, hon. Amy? Give her a second. Oh, oh, right, sorry. I'm actually pretty tired. Seriously, we just started having some fun. Okay, fine. She's kind of weird. She's probably just tired. Could have had a long day. You don't know. We don't know. Yeah, she must be really tired with all this misspelling she was making. I'll see what's up. <clears throat> I mean, she's kind of my best. She's my best friend. Okay. Anyway. I'll keep you posted. Have a good night, Nick. Good night. Can't be rude. By the way, it's sweet that Amy is so insistent with interest in someone. I'm only, I've only heard good things about you. Please don't let her down. The next morning. Well, I think this should be a good episode. A good place to start. Stop. Uh, so we got you no, know, Amy. Uh oh, I just see in the background <laughs> who it might be. So it might be her brother, possibly. I don't know. But maybe I'll we'll continue this on and be another uh, Friday playthrough. Because that's <laughs> doesn't help me because I'm going to have even more to deal with because I still have the the other one I did before. But either way, this is Android Gamer. Later days and happy gaming.